It's probably going to happen in the next 15 minutes. Don't worry about it yet. But, hey, careful with the bag, guys. They just threw our friend's bag off the roof. Flagrant, flagrant abuse of his property. No need for that when they have a ladder and several people standing around. No consent to search. They're going through the bag. Sir, did you get consent to search that bag? You are being videotaped. Apparently he doesn't need, feel the need to respond, even though our tax dollars pay his salary. And it looks like they're going to start cutting people out of the roof soon. There's two people locked down with the PVC pipe, and they've got an electric, a giant electric saw up there. Their fire department, uh, fire, firefighters up there in full gear uh, with an electric saw. They're going to saw through the PVC pipe, which their arms are in. They can't tell where their arms are, but they're locked down to a, to a little <laughs> piece of metal inside the pole, uh, most likely with the carabiner. Um, this is a very dangerous thing for them to be doing. We explained to them that we would voluntarily get off the roof at 8 p.m. tonight, but they've instead opted to cut them out uh, while they're on the roof here. It's a, it's a bit of a risky situation and an unnecessary risk, if you ask me. Here, let's see if they throw this bag down. They threw the first bag down. Maybe they'll be nice enough to carry this one. Again, this is the National Day of Action for the Cruz family. Uh, hashtag J21, June 21st. Actions happening in 18 cities around the country, demanding that the Cruz family be let back into their home, that PNC Bank negotiate uh, with them. It looks like they've cut them out now. Uh, they're taking the PVC pipe down. They have cut people out. I'm not sure what else is going on. It's hard to see from down here. Uh, but you can see the firefighters carrying the PVC pipe. There's one of our one of our supporters there on the roof is now standing. We're not sure quite how they're planning on getting them down. It looks like he's been put in cuffs. He has been put in metal cuffs. Three squad cars standing by, a fourth over there, the fire fire truck. About seven or eight police officers, a sergeant, four or five firefighters. They're throwing the PVC pipe now down into the neighbor's yard. Incredible, incredible flagrants. At least they're carrying this person's bag down. Um, so one, one of our supporters is in cuffs, the other I can't see quite yet. You can see the giant metal saw here down on the ground. Now they're walking down the first, first arrestee, and the second one is behind them. Both are in metal cuffs. That's in support of the people that were locked. <laughs> Here they're bringing them down in cuffs on a on a fairly slanted rooftop. It's a little bit of a dangerous maneuver. I'm not sure if they plan on walking them down the the ladder in cuffs. Um, you see they're taking the banner in the back here. All this, all this to keep a family out of the home who was thrown out unjustly because of a bank error. And even though they, the bank repeatedly said they were negotiating with the family, they decided to go ahead and, and tried to evict five times within one week. 23 people were arrested, including myself. And you see now they're taking them down the ladder. In cuffs. This is the start of the National Day of Action with 18 cities. doing solidarity actions at PNC branches around the country. 
Walker, they're guiding him down the ladder as he's in cuffs here. Two brave supporters of the Cruz family who this morning at 7 o'clock deployed three banners on the roof, one of which was a, a giant balloon banner that read eviction stop here. Another said housing is a human right. And the third said PNC Bank, this is still the Cruz home. We are committed to coming back to this house, to continue to defend this house until PNC Bank negotiates with the family to get them back in their home. So the first arrestee is down on the ladder here. The second is coming down as we speak. I'm going to pause this video now.